I'm going to show you how you can use your Wix website to accept online orders through your Clover POS. So this is Wix.com. As you can see, you can use Wix to build websites. You may have already used Wix uh, and you already built your website or you're planning to use Wix and you're probably thinking ahead saying, hey, once I build my website, how can I get this to be connected to the Clover? And this right here is Clover. This is Clover.com. On Clover.com, as you can see, they have many different Clover devices. And you want to use your Clover POS to accept online orders. So in other words, when a customer orders online, you want that order to print to the Clover. And you're probably curious, how is that possible? And in this video, I'm going to show you that's very possible. And it's actually more simple than you think. So let me show you what I mean by that. This is a Wix website. As you can see, it's called Pasta Pasta. It's actually called Pasta Pasta Denver. Um, but it's made with Wix. How do I know it's made with Wix? Uh, the way to tell um, in most cases is scroll to the very bottom and you can see powered by Wix or created by Wix. Or you may see other signs around the website that's created by Wix. <clears throat> so once you have your website in place and you look at your menu, you see home, our story, menu, contact. And you have all the buttons there except for one. And that button that's missing is called order online. And you're wondering how do I get that order online button to work with my Clover? Uh, so it's actually straightforward, pretty straightforward. And I'm going to walk you step by step on how to do that. Again, Wix itself, Wix itself cannot connect to the Clover, but there is a workaround. And the workaround is very simple to do. And I'm going to show you how to do that. First thing you would do, as what this merchant did, is you go to the Clover app market. And you, what you do is you search over here, smart online order right here. You take this app and you install it. Once you install it, you press open. Once you press open, we'll, we will make for you an order online page. And here's the order online page I'll create for you. Your order online page will look similar to this right here. As you can see, this is the order online page. This is the Wix website. So what we did was we took her website, we took this merchant's website, this business owner's website, and we made for them an order online page right here. See, as you can see, when somebody clicks on order online, it will take them to this. And we already did this for them. Uh, it's all it's all done. Now, now uh, the customer has to order now. So what's next? The next step is to connect it to this web page here. This is the order online page. So I can order my menu here. Um, I can order from this page here. So what we want to do is we make an order online page and connect it to this one. So the first thing you want to do is go to the back end of the website, the back end of the Wix website, and we're gonna add a order online button. Here is the back end of the Wix website. As you can see, it has options here to make changes. So I'm gonna go ahead and press edit website. When you press edit website, you'll have the ability to make changes. So what we're doing here is we're creating a button called order online. Okay, so let me scroll down a little bit so you can see all of it here and here's my uh, settings where I can make changes here we got home our story menu contact when I go on their back end when I click on order when I click on their menu here at the very top you can see they already have home our story menu order online you can see they already have an order online button so let's see where this takes them right now let's see where this button actually leads to when I click on it it takes them to this setting here. So a Wix has this um, ability to create an, uh, like a menu page like this, but this menu page doesn't really do anything. It doesn't connect to the Clover. You can order now, but again, you get an email with the order. It doesn't, it doesn't go to the Clover POS. So the workaround is to change this link or add a new page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this page the way it is. Um, I'm gonna make a new one and just call it online order, okay? Because I don't wanna, I don't wanna get the names mixed up in case um, they want to use this page for other purposes. So I'll leave this back here. So we have home, our story, menu, order online. And you can see it correlates to here, home, our story, menu, contact. The order online, which was the one that was, uh, the reason why you can't see it is because it's hidden. Let me show you what I mean by that. See when I click on, uh, when I click on, uh, when I click on the, the order online button, it shows up here but when I uh, try to uh, manage the pages, you can see it says hidden right here. How do, you t how do I tell it's hidden? Uh, because the icon right there is hidden. So I'm going to leave it the way it is. I'm going to keep it hidden. Um, basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a link. 
to don't add a page, add a link, because I just realized with Wix you have to uh, do external link. So add a link. And then see right here it says um, <clears throat> what kind of a uh, link? I just put web address. And then you, you'll get the email with the order online link. And I'll uh, once you get that, just copy and paste it here. So here's the link. It's, I want to paste it right here. That's the link for them. How does it open? Uh, let's do new window. Done. Okay. And then what's the name of the new link? We're going to call it um, online order. Okay. And we're going to put it, let's put it before contact right here. Okay. So online order right there. See how's it online order? Online order. Okay. Perfect. And I'm going to go ahead, um, close this and then press publish. As you can see, it's very, very simple. Um, all you do is adding a link because we do all the hard work for you. We're going to create for you the order online page. Uh, so all you're doing is adding a link to your website. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page right now. Now we have home, our story, menu, online order, contact. Okay, so there's there's the there's the uh, bu the, the menu right here. And if you want to go an extra step, um, in case your customer misses this button and kind of scrolls down, you can make another button right here called uh, online order. So let me go ahead and do that as well. Since there's already a button called see menu, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna double click it and just press duplicate, and I'm gonna bring it down here. I'll bring it uh, right here, and I'm going to change it. I'm going to call it um, online order, and then I'm going to change the link. See, I was says, what is this link to? I'm going to say, take me to a web address, and it's the same web address as before. I already have that saved, and it's done. Actually, let me call this order online. Online order is fine, but let's just say order online. Okay, there we go. Perfect, now it's done. And I think it's even, right? Oh, actually, it's not even. Move it a little bit to the right, left here. Yeah, there you go, it's matched up. And I'm gonna press publish now. And it's published. Now I'm gonna go back to the website. I'm gonna refresh the page. Now I should see a button called order online, online order. As you can see, I need to make it a little bit better. Uh, just expand the width here, which is pretty simple and straightforward. But I'm giving you an idea of how it's possible. Uh, to add an order online button. Actually, let me just fix that real quick while I'm here. Uh, let's let's go here. I'm gonna just expand it out, Lord. There we go. And you can see uh, Wix is pretty easy to use. Um, I was able to make that button bigger very easily. And we are done. Let's go ahead and refresh the page now. It's not a little bit open now. Yeah, there we go. So we have online order, order online. Um, and if you want them to, if you want to add another button, you can do that as well. You can make another button, but again, for now, um, that's sufficient to kind of give you an idea of how to add order online button. Okay. So again, what you would do is you would, you go on your backend, you press more tools right here, more tools, uh, search for smart online order. And install this and then follow the instructions. You'll get the link and then link it to your Wix website. Very simple, very straightforward. And just to prove, to show you how uh, uh, how well this works with you, with online ordering, uh, let me let me give you some examples here. I'm about to show you the back end of the online ordering so you can see how, how many features it has and all the benefits it'll bring to your business. See, when you install it, uh, you get an email with the link and also using a password for the back end. Uh, once you log into the back end of your online order page, you can make lots of changes, lots of customization. So again, when you saw when you saw the, um, the, the page earlier, that's just one way of making it look. So here, uh, let me click on store interfaces. See, how, the one you saw earlier, uh, the layout was based on this one. You can change it to this one, to this one, to this one to this one or to this one. You have five options to choose from. So don't feel like you're limited to one option. You have different options to choose from. And it's more than just interfaces. There's lots of customizations you can do in the back end. You can um, enable tips. You can uh, log in and check out. You can pay at store, pay with cash. You can add service charges. You can do coupons. You can do. You can verify with SMS. You can disable special instructions or have a customized special instructions. You can have a customized thank you page. 
you can have um you can leave different messages when the business is closed you can have a customized pop-up message when people first order online you can hide modifier groups you can uh, expand modifiers uh, you can add delivery areas you can do delivery fees uh, so again there's lots of options in the back end uh, but once you install that smart online order uh, try it for yourself you'll see how how much benefit it brings to your business okay and if you have questions we here we are here to help you along the way